what is up guys it's been about uh two months probably longer than that since i made a video my last video that i made obviously was my t-day vlog and man yeah that was a ride and now thinking back on that <laughs> it's crazy to think that it's already been like two months since i started t today is sunday March the 25th, so tomorrow will technically be two months to the day that I've been on T already. And to be completely honest with you, being on T has not been what I thought it would be, I guess. So I'll start with like the changes or lack of changes. As far as hair, uh, I've noticed more hair growth like on my face. I already have like a peach fuzz kind of deal going on. Before I started tea and like I would get random like one or two chin hairs that I'd like pluck out. But now like my chin hair like I'm starting to see well, a lot more of those random chin hairs starting to grow. I'm starting to notice the, f the peach fuzz like coming in a little more. I have a random cheek hair and a random cheek hair <laughs> that I just noticed this past week. And I've actually like shaved my face since I started tea. Uh, I think I've shaved it twice and the hair is still starting to come back and grow. So that's actually a good thing. I'm actually really happy about that. Another thing would be my voice. So talking right now to this camera, I feel like it's deeper. Just, I don't, I don't know. That's just how I feel. It might not be, but a lot of people have told me that my voice sounds really deep. One thing that I do know for sure, that's not so subjective, is that my voice cracks like all the time now. Literally, like I don't even have to be doing anything, my voice will just crack. And uh, I kind of feel like a 12 year old boy <laughs> because of that. Yeah, as far as my voice goes, I mean, <laughs> It's funny, like, I will I lose my voice a lot easier now, too, so I don't even have to be talking a whole lot, but my voice will just go hoarse really fast. Uh, like, I've noticed that by the end of the day a lot of the times, like, by the end of the night, my voice is just, like, trashed, and even when I laugh or something, it's, like, cracking and uh, just going, just completely going out, so that's something that I've noticed, too. As far as like injections are going, they're going fine. Uh, I've only had one spot that like actually bruised afterward. I don't know if I, it's cause I didn't do it right or whatever, but I have done a few shots that actually hurt. Like I know in the first one, I was like, oh, I didn't feel it at all. I've had a few more that I didn't feel at all. I've had two or three that actually hurt really bad. The rest of them, I would say, I haven't done that many, but like, uh, you know, the rest have just been kind of in the middle. Like it maybe it was a little pinch, uh, but it wasn't bad. One in particular though, actually I did the injection and I don't know why, but I honestly felt like so sick and nauseous that I had to lay down on the couch. Like I felt like I was about to pass out right after I did it. I don't know if it was because of my like adrenaline rushing so bad because like, you know, I, was, I like get nervous or whatever. Like my blood starts pumping really bad before I do it just because like <laughs> I'm stabbing myself in the leg, <laughs> obviously, but yeah, that was kind of scary, and um, but it kind of it. I felt better after a few minutes, and it was okay. At first, I was really, really like counting down the days uh, every week to Friday because Fridays are my shot day, and I do it once a week. But um, now it's like I don't know. Like I still think about it, but it's not something that I'm like, oh my god, shot day. And I don't know if that's just because of how my mood's been lately or what. But speaking of mood my mood swings have been kind of ridiculous and that's kind of why I haven't been making videos. I did make the decision to just make a video like every two months since my transition started and I have a few reasons for that. One is just because I've been super busy like I graduate in a month and school and work and um, internship and just life has been crazy in general. So my schedule's been jam-packed, but <laughs> an, uh, a big reason for that as well is just because there's not a whole lot of changes happening like month to month. So I don't wanna make a video every month and be like, 
Oh hey, I'm um, kind of the same as last month, but you know, here it is. Here's a video where I just kind of talk about nothing. <laughs> so I don't, I don't really want to do that to you guys, and honestly, I don't really feel like doing doing that. So I feel like just kind of checking in every month or two will be more efficient than being like, hey, I'm one month on T, I'm two months on T, I'm three months on T, I'm four months on T. And you see a lot of guys do this, like, they'll, uh, I've seen a lot of guys put on YouTube, like, a video every single month for at least, like, the first six months, and then after that, they'll kind of drop off, but I, I feel like it would just be more reasonable to just kind of do it every two months, and then, you know, six months and do like a nine months uh, a year and then from there we'll see how it goes yeah i feel like i've said like a lot of negative things i've been feeling really down lately honestly for the past month well honestly probably longer than the past month i've my depression has been really really bad like it just i, I don't really know why i was still taking my medication like normal except for one week I was off of my medicine completely and that was a really uh, rough week considering that my hormones are already kind of crazy because of the tea and then my body just reacting to not having that daily medication. I'm on Paxil which is for depression and anxiety. I have no problem saying that, it's just how it is. And I take that every day and yeah, I've been taking it for a few years. Um, I've gone periods not taking it. Uh, I went off of it for a whole year on purpose, uh, willingly, but I'm on it and I know that it's, you know, it works and it works for me and it helps, but for some reason, everything's just been getting the best of me and I think it's just because I've been so overwhelmed, plus now this, um, these added hormones and so my body's just kind of going crazy. I have a feeling that once I graduate and that school is out of the picture, I'll feel a whole lot better and things will be okay, but right now life's just been kind of, kind of wacky. I can't say that I'm not happy about the transition because honestly, like I, I am seeing positive changes uh, every single day, all the time. Um, there's something positive that I can look at and you know, people are starting to notice changes and that's good. I've been told like my jawline is more defined now, which I don't really know how true that is, but hey. Maybe it was a good picture angle, who knows. But, um, I, you know, I get comments on my voice all the time. I've been called he a few times, which is okay. I know that, like, a big thing that was, I think, contributing to my depression was the fact that now that I'm on T, I felt like that was very validating for me. And still being called by the wrong pronouns, by the wrong name constantly was really hitting me hard. And it sucks, but that's the reality of it. I know that I'm not passing very well right now. Definitely not passing as well as I'd like to, but it is what it is and that's okay. As far as hair goes, like my body hair too, um, I was already growing out my like armpit hair and my leg hair be right before I started tea. And so that kind of grew like a lot naturally. My stomach hair, like, Happy Trail, I guess, is actually growing now. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, I, there's not like a whole lot as far as changes are going that has happened. The only thing that I really could think of besides like just mood swings would be that I'm really, really hot all the time now. So I'm, I'm just, I get so hot. Like I sweat in my sleep now and that's not been something that I've ever dealt with before because I've never, I don't know if, I mean, I've, I've, I've been told before that I'm like a hot body person. Like people are like, oh, I don't want to sleep too close to you because you're really hot. And you know, okay, that's the thing. But I've never like actually been sweating in my sleep. So that was, that was weird the first time that that happened. But yeah, I think that, I think that's pretty much it as far as an update is concerned I really do want to make more videos like for you guys and for myself just because I do want to keep track of this transition the best that I can and it's really exciting so hopefully hopefully I'll be better about that uh, in the near future but 
that's all I got for you now. If you if you have any comments or questions or anything, feel, please feel free to ask. You can ask on the on this video or all my social media will be in the description. So I don't know what are YouTubers supposed to say? Like, oh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. No, but really, I really appreciate you guys watching these and keeping up with me. It makes me feel good that, you know, other people care about this transition as much or maybe even more than I do. Who knows? But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.